electric motor, synthetic rigging, classic sailboat, no electronics, crossing the Atlantic Ocean. Going where the fair winds blow, our home is where the waters flow. We'll show you what we've come to know on board while sailing wisdom. Man, we got the boat halfway untied and we're halfway out the slip. As soon as the weather like calms down, we get like a little lull in the wind, we'll be ready to just shoot out and get out of here without hitting that very pretty fancy boat that's next to us. Okay, so I've gotten the boat moved out. So babe, what you're gonna be doing, you're gonna be at the helm. I'm gonna release the bow lines. You'll give it light throttle because I need to untie the stern line and jump on before you uh, go away. And then are you cool with you motoring and get us out of the marina? I'll be pulling in the fenders. And then once I have the fenders in, I'll get stand up or do you want stand up before then? I'm cool with uh, motoring out of here, and then we'll get Stan up before you finish tying up the uh, fenders. Okay, so I'll, I'll get the fenders up, and then we'll put up Stan, and then I'll finish tidying them up, getting them put away. Yeah. Okay, and that'll carry us. So when we leave here, our course, like our ideal course to get to Cape Verde, to the island we're going, is 200 on the compass. So, I mean, go wherever you want. Okay. <laughs> Whatever is easiest with the seas while we're getting stuff put together. And then uh, then once we're underway, we'll set Wendy. Uh, I got the paddle already put in the water, so that's ready. All we need to do is engage her at the wheel. And everything's good. Uh, motor's full charge, I tested it and it works. So we're good there. Sounds good. Yeah. We made some incredible memories in Madeira. We're gonna miss it a lot, but we know we'll be back someday. Now it's time to go. put up Josh, we need some more sail. Let's put in two reefs. Okay, we have 1,000 miles to go downwind. So that means we put all our sails up in the front of the boat, that way it pulls the boat downwind. And then just a wee little bit of mainsail, not because it's strong winds, but just to give a little bit of sail aft. Just, you know, tiny bit of balance. The sails are set and the wind vane is set, so now we just sit back and enjoy the ride.
the thing about this passage is we're going to Cape Verde, but we don't know if they're going to let us in because Cape Verde closed apparently um, a few days ago for COVID reasons. So this might be the beginning of our ocean crossing. We just don't know. <laughs> so when we were provisioning, we had to provision to cross the entire Atlantic Ocean. It wasn't just a provisioning process for 10 days. The other thing is Cape Verde is known for not having really good food for provisioning. So what is our process for provisioning to cross the Atlantic Ocean? Well, we got a lot of fresh food, fresh vegetables, fruits, and things like that to eat within the first week or so because those are gonna go bad soon. And then we got a lot of canned foods and pasta, rice, beans, things like that that don't go so bad. But we also are able to pack a lot of meat. So we vacuum packed meat, put it in our freezer. So we're gonna be able to have fresh meat the whole way. We're also gonna be doing some fishing, but you really can't rely on that. We don't count the amount of meals we're going to eat each day and calculate. We just get a lot of food. The sugar is crystallized and the rest is good. dinner and Madeira is fading into the distance and as it fades into the distance we sail towards nothing. is going to start soon and uh, it's getting pretty chilly out so it just feels really good to be out though I, we get a little bit antsy when we're in a, one place for a long time so it was time and it, it feels very good but the great thing is I haven't been seasick yet and it's all because we put that patch on earlier today and then I went straight to sleep <laughs> but I haven't been seasick and that is a first so kudos to this patch. Well, it's getting dark, so we put up our night sail plan, which is our main with three reefs in it, and our staysail, and we just dropped our jib. That was pretty much the only thing we had to do to switch from uh, day to night. So now Maddie's gonna take over. We're gonna eat some cookies and watch the sunset. The sunset is over, my friend. Oh, I miss the sunset, but I still have my cookies. <laughs> can see Madeira glowing in the dark in the distance, this big orange glow as we get away from it. But uh, my watch is starting now. It's nine o'clock and I'm just going to be watching podcasts for the next four hours.
It's just incredible how much more enjoyable sailing can be when you're not feeling queasy all the time. It reminded me why I love this lifestyle so much. I feel so much better. I just need to like lay down, I guess, or something. I just Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if you're interested in even more Rigging Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. Can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas.